When we start learning any language, the first thought that comes in our mind is that can we learn a language at home? So here's the answer, yes, we can learn French at home. We need to follow a few steps to come fluent in French. So let's see those steps. Step 1. You must buy a grammar book that includes all the conjugations of the verbs, has thoroughly explained the topics and must contain practice exercises for each topic. Try to buy a book which already have vocabulary but you can also buy a separate book for the vocabulary and also you will find lots of vocabulary on your social media platforms in internet google so make sure that you are having a nice book so that you can practice all your grammatical topics you will find some book recommendations in the description below step two follow at least two youtube channels and whichever topic you are doing watch the videos of it you can also see multiple videos but only for one topic at a time so sometimes when we are so excited to learn a language what we do we watch so many videos of different different people postings uh, different videos on their channels or instagram facebook which ultimately leads you to the confusion yes so pick one topic and watch the videos related to that topic so that you can conclude the real essence of the topic. You can also go through an online lessons where you can take some practice sessions and you can see some notes and then you can make your own notes. Step 3. This is a very very important step. Make your own notes. It is very very important to write everything you have learned so that you can easily go through it. So when you are learning a topic, you must make your own notes, not by copy pasting, but writing through your own hand. Yes, that is very important because when you are making your own notes, you are researching, you will uh, explore so many things about that topic. So ultimately, that topic will be in your mind like forever. So please make your own notes. Keep solving exercises as step number four. So whenever you finish a topic, do a maximum number of exercises. It's, it should not be like you have done a topic and let's move to the next topic or you have done just two, three exercises of, of that particular topic and now uh, might be those answers are correct and you feel now that okay, now I have to just go to the next topic. So please don't do this. Whenever you finish a topic, do maximum number of exercises. You can buy a book or can you can use online worksheets. Also, write down all the questions that arise in your mind while doing the exercises and check them later. This could be a very good exercise for building a vocabulary as well. Like for example, if you are doing some kind of exercises and you are not getting that particular word, so you can just Google that word, you can find out that meaning and that will help you in building the vocabulary. Step 5. Listening and Speaking The most important divisions of learning a language. For listening, listen to radio stations, watch movies, listen to songs and poems and watch cartoons. Most importantly, solve listening exercises from books or online listening practice material. It is very important for you to please tick on a level if you are a beginner then please listen and to the things which are of your level because suddenly if you will watch the videos or solve the listening exercises of B2 or C1 level then it will be a great problem for you because there will be a difference between the vocabulary, tenses and many more things. So it is very important to please listen to radio stations, movies or cartoons or, and all those things. Also if you want how to build your listening and speaking there is a video mentioned in the description click and watch that sixth step that is the writing section writing section is very important 
read the comprehensions articles and the informal letters in order to build vocabulary and understanding of sentence structure when you are reading the comprehensions in your books then you are actually building a vocabulary you are trying to understand a particular language similarly when you are reading articles or informal letters that will help you in your own writing keep writing so don't wait for a particular topic whenever wherever you feel please start writing there are multiple topics if you will research around you and try to check it through online translators or by sharing on social media it is very important that if you have written something you must know the correct form of that writing you can do it by putting it in a translator but sometimes it happens that you translator have given you in some one form uh, like for example if you have written in informal way it might show you formal one or vice versa so you can make an alternator you can put your writing on social media like for example facebook groups and you can ask the people to review your writing and that way it will you will get a real corrections practice speaking the step number 7 it is a very challenging step so how to practice your speaking you can join a french language groups and speak with people there are so many groups on facebook or instagram or many other applications so you can enroll yourself there and then you can start speaking to those people do this on a regular basis as it will help you to learn things out of the books because you are speaking to people and they will not think before speaking they will not know that what you have learned till now so it will be easy for you to communicate yes challenging but it's a very very informative level of doing next is it will boost your confidence like anything directly practicing with natives or people who know better than us always help us in boosting our confidence so please follow these steps and let's see what is much more in this video we have already learned how to learn french at home but in which order should we begin the grammatical topics in french we cannot take some random topics because it will surely affect our learning so let's see the order coming to our final destination that is the completion of the course but you cannot eliminate the role of a teacher it is very important for you to practice with teacher because it's only a teacher they can tell you like where you are committing mistakes what needs to be corrected and what is your progress so make sure that you are taking 10 to 15 days of practice sessions this will include your speaking and writing sessions please take these sessions from a teacher so that you can check your progress and learning and it is a save it is saving the cost as well because now you are not learning the entire syllabus you are just practicing the two modules <music>